The following has been inspired by Lunar Outlaws Garage, where some assembly is required. Some kind of a van over there. Yeah, there's some vans. I'm seeing there's one here that's pretty messed up. Oh, by the way, this is a Hoosier Garage. This is my dad, Ron. He's out with me today, a couple days before Christmas, and we're at a Hoosier junkyard. And it's an old school junkyard. And I've never been to this one. I've heard about it, but I've never been here until today. And I'm thoroughly interested. Actually, I see a, a, a coronet up here. Might be worth checking out. It's all strewn back into the woods. You can see back over in there. We was told there was a couple of van parts here. Here's an old Daytona. And uh, looks like we got some Mopar action over here. 68 Coronet. Sitting on top of an Impala. Coronet 500. And uh, Yep, so see I got the round uh, side markers, it's a 68. Yeah. It's got an eight and three quarter rear housing in it. Wow. And then the Impala, what is that, about a 63 or 64? Yeah, uh, I'd say 64. 64. Uh, and that coronet's got drum brakes all the way around. Huh. Wow. Another Daytona. Let's see. Got some stickers around here. You don't want to get stuck. On Ford truck. I mean, there's no real order to it. They even go back over the hill there. A lot of deer tracks. A lot of deer tracks, yeah. Uh, this is kind of a junkyard. It's better to visit in the wintertime yeah. because of the copperheads. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because if you come out here in July, you'll probably get bit by something. Attacked. Hey, we got a 73 or 74 satellite Sebring Plus. Got all the trimming on it. Uh, inside, got the button rear seats. Power steering, which might be, well, I was looking for the steering column. I need a coupler. I need a power steering coupler. I do know that. I do know that. No grill. Decent bumper, it's been here for a while. Yeah, we'll, we'll take off over that way and try to cover what we can. We'll jump back on here in a second and show you some more. Four, I think. about a 64 or so. Wagon, Biscayne wagon. I, I'm not sure, I'm not up on the ship I think. I think it's been here a while, ain't it? All kinds of good stuff. See, we started, we went up the hill here, and there's a, where was that 50? Oh, we got 55 Chevy sitting over here. I'm about a 60 or 61, or maybe it was 58, 59 Impala. Right over here. Glass. We're on a moving hill here almost.
Turismo, Omni. Now some guys don't know this, but if you ever see one of these, these marker lights will fit the older Mopars, like 72 and up, because they have the 72 date on them. So they feel like a duster, dart, you know. Oh, they're yeah, they are interchangeable. They use these up until the late 80s. Some of the trucks on the front had the amber ones. That one's busted, so actually right here. Yeah. Here's a good example. It's actually in good shape. I might, if I can get it out easy, I might pop it off. I got a sockets up there. So we'll try to remember that down the hill here. You might see another one. There's many cars as there are. You might just see enough of them anyways. So. Well, I got a tool pouch up there. Celica. What was this? A, what is that? Pontiac? Uh, no, I don't think it is. Can't tell what it used to say. Imperial. It's an Imperial. My bad. It's a, that roof kind of tipped me off. But, yeah. Chrysler Imperial. Yeah. Old school. Yeah, those were like the uh, the Cadillac of the Cadillacs. <laughs> I was a kid, I used to have a Ford, and I rode in one of those. Man, old me down to a store. Mine wasn't running. I couldn't leave. I realized I was driving junk in the Ford. <laughs> <laughs> a little sloppy. I found out the Ford was pretty sloppy. We're gonna go up over the hill. We'll turn it back on again. Tales from the junkyard. Uh, here's a tail from the junkyard. It's one of your barracudas, or what's left of it. Got some seats left, some push button, push button transmission in it. Stuff like that. Huh. Might be a little 318 or a 273. Probably 273. The early ones like that. Yeah, but we've been looking at all these different things. And, you know, we found this old uh, oil. We call it like an oil crate. Uh, yeah, uh, oil coke. Uh, used, uh, they set them between uh, uh, the gas pumps back years ago. Mm -hmm. they like a gallon. I think it's a gallon jug in each. Yeah. Quadrant. I think we'll grab that and just have some to put some of our jugs in. We got a scout, looks like. Yep, an international scout. And a Chevy. My dad had one of those. He bought it new in 62. Well, now he didn't like it because of what? Was well, it the snow? Well, he didn't get the four wheel drive, and uh, in snow it was just too lightweight. That's it. Uh, he wished later he had the four wheel. Huh. Oldsmobile. We've probably only hit half of this. Been out here for about 40 minutes or so. There's a boat, basketball goal. Football, that's how you mix your sports. Miss. like a instrument case or something I see a 6667 Dodge right there an Electra 225 there was a 6667 Charger back there and it was pretty gone had part of the rear console on it that was about it oh it's a wagon Coronet wagon 
sitting here all by itself. It's a V8. See by the emblem here. Small block. Power steering. Power steering. Mostly. Mostly there. Yep, corner level 40 V8. Yep, V8, yeah. Got a roof rack on it. Jam shut. It's an old AMC Matador. Don't see these much. It's uh, some of the old cop cars were Matadors for some reason. Adam 12, they replaced the Dodges with these and they was always kind of odd looking car, especially if the two doors, they was really weird looking. Yeah, big trailer is. So there's still more down this little valley down here. A few more, then there's, you can go back up the hill and there's more of an app. So it keeps going. We don't know where the end of it is yet. That's a Valiant, early 60s. It's 64 Ford over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, he had, he had one of them back in the mid 60s. Two door. Yeah. yeah. That's what I had was two door and there's a four door up here. Right. We got an old, uh, it's like a Torino fastback. I don't think it's a cyclone. 68, 69, I guess. Banged up pretty good. Got several galaxies down here. Well, these briars are something else, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you got several of these down here, these Fords. Yeah. Yeah, that's the coupe, 64 coupe. Some barbed wire in there if you need it. <laughs> There's a convertible over here. So it's an Oldsmobile. It's like the 55 Chevy or so, and you said 55 on, yeah. Yeah, back there. 55. No dead bodies. No dead bodies, that's good. That's the only thing we haven't seen is a dead body. Not looking for any, really. No. Some of the cars have went into the sinkhole, it looks like. <laughs> Some Mustangs up there, older Mustangs. Early, I should say. Fairlane? Yeah. It was a nice car. Yeah, we got a Rambler convertible over here. 770. Yeah. I guess we'll go up the hill and then we'll uh, catch you. Yeah. Yeah, we found a 
an old Dodge Coupe. Pretty rough shape. Yeah, they got that real long tail on them. So we found this one. Got some slotted mags, which would be cool to have. If you get it out of here, it's in a really bad spot. And this door's locked. It's got a flare on it. Looks like it's the only flare left. I'm gonna climb back over to the easy side. My friend got the uh, port windows the other day for it. This door completely fell off when I opened it. So. And it's full of stuff, but it was customized through the carpet, the ugly carpet and the ceiling, but it's got all this stuff in it, like the old washer and uh, stuff like that. But what I might try to get from it is this console, but I'm not sure yet. I'll think about it. We got a couple other things to get first, so I'll show you what we got, what we found. All right, so we found a 75, 76, somewhere in there, Dodge van. It's got the manual steering box in it, which I'm trying to get out, but I don't know if I have everything I need. I got the, uh, the roll pin out of the coupler, which was looking pretty bad. But like I said, you can use a 318, you know, small block Chrysler push rod, and you can bang it out usually. And uh, I got all three of the bolts out, and I'm just having trouble with the, I think I neglected to bring the size to get this off, plus the cotter pin stuck in there, so I have to try to bust it off. And hopefully we can separate this section here when we're ready. Um, we did find a coolant bottle. And yeah, so I'm gonna work on this. Uh, my dad's grabbing another socket. I think he's got one in his truck that should be ample enough to do that hopefully we can get out of here actually we're on a time crunch because the owner he's an older fellow he's got to go to an appointment so we're trying to play against the clock here and i think that's what this goes yep there's our bottle cap for the huh, cool so i'll keep you updated well the good news is we got a pretty cool old school junkyard to go to and check some stuff out the bad news is we couldn't get the box out we was missing a few things uh, that I really wasn't prepared. I really wasn't prepared to find a steering box. I was kind of just passing that off. So um, I'm gonna go back probably next week. The good thing is with him, he, he lives there and he's just an old guy. And I think it's just like he told my dad that it's like his hobby to collect all that stuff. And he's been there since 1956. So a lot of the stuff, if you think it's been in that yard a long time, you're probably right. I noticed stuff was rotted that looked like, you know, wouldn't normally rot. It's just been setting and setting and setting. So we'll go back and get the box probably next week. And I'm going to make a mental list of some other things and write it down when I get home. Uh, there's some marker lights, the ones I was talking about. I, I think I'll pick those up. Uh, some other things on the van. I might go back to that yellow van and, and check some of that stuff out. Uh, the funny thing is they didn't have uh, any dusters at all they really didn't have any a body chrysler stuff after 1967 um, which when you see all the old stuff you pull over here when you see all the old stuff that he had you kind of figure his high days of collecting or pulling it in there was probably back in the mid 70s i would say that early mid 70s so he didn't really get a lot of stuff like that uh, he had a couple Dodsons that was maybe from mid late 70s and just a couple odds and ends so it was really interesting to see something like that and um yeah so we'll go back we'll update the video and we'll let you see it again some other stuff and uh 
there's something there that you saw that you want to see a little more of, let me know at what point in the video. And uh, I'll try to, you know, get another look at it for you. All right. We hope you've enjoyed the preceding short feature.